everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. I am so excited about today's video. I will be doing a thrifting my Pinterest home decor edition. A while back, like a month or two or more, I did a thrifting my Pinterest looking for some spring trends. Although I didn't find anything, you guys really, really loved the video, and which was awesome. I wanted to do it again, only this time focus on home decor and see what I could find. So I went on my Pinterest and I looked up some home decor that I felt was reasonable to find at the thrift store because I'm not gonna be completely unrealistic about this challenge. So I found some things that were very me, but I felt like I could find them thrifting. But before I show you guys my Pinterest, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith 22 Let's hop on Pinterest, and let me show you guys just a few pins that I pinned, and then we're gonna go to the thrift store and look for these things. I am jumping on my phone to my Pinterest, which I will link down below for you. And the first thing you guys are going to see are these wooden bowls. I love the idea of having these for fruit or just on a shelf, but I think they're so beautiful. I love that sort of natural light wood. I mean, that would be awesome to find. <laughs> that would be a very lucky find. The next thing that I'm searching for, although I don't expect to find, is a beautiful sort of vintage dresser like this one. We need one for the baby coming, so I just threw that in here, but I don't really think I'll find one thrifting, sadly. I'm also looking for like unique pottery or bowls. I love these colors. I mean, this color palette is gorgeous, so kind of bowls or even little um, jars like this that could have sugar, tea. I mean, those are just stunning. This kitchen now, I am getting major inspo from. I love that little vase up front, very clean, modern, and this is the same thing. Now, I really, really love this picture. This is one of my main inspirations. I love this sort of vintage um, painting mixed with the very clean whites and even just this vase. I love this photo. That's one of my top inspirations. I would also be really happy to find some white flour, sugar, um, canister sort of things. I have some glass ones, but I was really kind of wanting to bring just some more white things, a little bit more modern to mix in my kitchen. Of course, glass is always fun to look for a thrifting, so I threw that in there. And then I'd love to find like a vase. I love these concrete sort of colors. So, so pretty. That would be a lucky, lucky find, but I thought I would throw that in there. Just arrived at the thrift store. I am checking out two different ones today. I always I always go to Value Village whenever I'm filming thrift hauls, so I thought I would go to two different shops for you. I'm not sure I've done um, any come thrift with me's at these. So I hope it's good. As you know, obviously we already know the plan. We know what we're looking for or looking out for. So let's get inside and get searching for some of this Pinterest home decor. These chairs would be the perfect chairs to DIY. Recover, sand down, those would be pretty. Also, I kinda like the shelf. I have this Ikea vase, <laughs> but it's very cute and very affordable. Now remember, I'm just kinda looking for unique pottery, stuff like that, but at the same time, I don't want something that's totally pointless, like I would never use that. <laughs> and then obviously kinda like vases and sugar flower jars, but I don't see any. This face is much more along the lines of what I'm looking for with the white and how simple it is, but there was still something about the shape that I didn't love, so I decided to pass on it. Remember, I'm also looking for a glass face or something like that. This is a much more, I guess, modern shape. Mm -hmm. 
every time I'm at the thrift store, I always look at the mugs just because you never know if you're going to find a winner. I actually came across a piece of pottery. It looks handmade, but something was still a little funky about this pattern, but I really did like it. Moving on to thrift store number two. I walked in and saw this chair immediately. If it was a different shape, I actually wouldn't hate it because this fabric's kind of fun. There are tons and tons of paintings at this thrift store, so I had a lot to kind of scan through. This bowl was kind of interesting. I didn't love the outside, but I actually really enjoyed the inside of it. And then this picture I was very close to getting. But the thing is, I actually already own two pictures and I specifically wasn't looking to buy another picture, so I didn't get it. I have gotten so many comments on my tea kettle that I have that I thrifted months and months back and I found an almost identical one. I obviously didn't get it because I don't need another one. Now I'm just kind of showing you an overview of this thrift store. They have a lot, a lot of stuff. And truthfully, sometimes I find these thrift stores a little overwhelming. <laughs> Does anybody need a jar? Because these thrift stores are covered in mason jars. I didn't find anything. So that was a little disappointing. <laughs> these two places are right across the street from each other. So I just walked across the street. Also, sorry that I did a voiceover for everything. It's just these places are smaller thrift stores and so they are so quiet. And it's already weird enough that I like look at everything through my phone <laughs> as I'm filming. So I already feel like, oh God. And I just cannot bring myself <laughs> to loudly commentate at the same time. So hopefully you guys are okay when I do voiceovers. So I did go thrifting one other time the other day and I didn't film it and I did of course find some awesome pieces with this Pinterest inspiration. I was so bummed that I didn't film it but you know what can I do? We'll head home and let me show you guys what I did find and I have a little bit of a DIY to do, very small and I'm very excited to share what I did find with you. The first thing is this vase. Oh, look at this guys. So I DIY'd this. I found this glass which felt like the perfect shape for that photo that was in the kitchen. I'll put it in right here. This is so perfect. All I need to do is paint this bottom white. So let me show you guys my very, very simple little DIY I did to this. This is what my vase looked like to start with. You can see it was $3.99. I took some tape and made a straight edge around it added some white paint. I did have to do like three or four layers and then I peeled off the tape and that is it. I love this. I actually weirdly didn't have any good flower vases that were kind of like this shape and width I, and sh I had some shorter ones. I don't know and I was like I need some better vases and the thrift store always has some so this was a really really simple upcycle that I did and it was exactly like the photo which really made me excited. Next thing that I picked up, I realized it isn't like a pottery thing or anything like that. And I didn't have this technically pinned on my board, but I usually look for good mugs. Funny thing is I don't actually use mugs because I don't drink tea or coffee or anything. I don't know, I'm weird, but my husband <laughs> is a huge, huge coffee guy. And so I really liked this mug. It, you know me, I love 
love when something has a little speckle to it and it has this tiny little rim of like a golden brown around it. So it's just a really simple, beautiful mug that has a little bit of detail. But I was really excited about this little mug find. Yeah, I actually only have two more things and one is totally not having to do with Pinterest, but I just thought I would share it because what the heck. And that is this super cute little um, Beatrix Potter, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny book. I got this, this is so silly, but I got this, as you know, I'm pregnant and I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I just thought that this book would be so cute in little like Pinterest flat lay of some baby things. And this is also really cute, like shelf book, baby book decor, like on a shelf or on a dresser to just kind of have. But have you guys picked any of these up lately? Like the Beatrix Potters? These are some scary kids books. I'm like, that's the only reason I'm like, I actually don't plan on reading this to my children. We used to own a whole bunch for Olin and I got rid of them because they're a little bit much. Characters get eaten. <laughs> nice um, walloping happening in this picture. Overall, the images are so, so cute. And again, this was my Instagram purchase. Is that so terrible that I bought something just for photos or like cute decor? Now friends, I saved the best for last because isn't it just better that way? You guys know the picture I'm talking about with the kitchen, with the same one that the vase was in. There's also on the kitchen counter a little painting and I love me some vintage paintings. I have that old man one and I actually don't really have any other ones around because I'm trying to kind of make sure I blend my modern things with the vintage and I think finding the right sort of vintage picture makes a difference. Ta-da! I'll show you. This is it up close. Cute little beach scene. And let me tell you guys what I love about this. First off, it really does remind me of the one in the picture. Obviously it's a little different. This one's a little bit more golden toned in the sky, but I still like the very, the neutral color palette. Also to me, this is the perfect size. Like I think you can get a good feel for how big it is. It's not this huge picture. This and the fact that it's short, it actually would fit nicely on my kitchen shelves. So that just gives me a lot more options to work with because it's so small. It's not this overpowering vintage picture. I was so excited about this and it was $2.99. So that's amazing. These were my favorite finds. And you know what? I think I'm gonna style these up and show you guys. is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. If you guys want, feel free to share this video. I know that really helps me out a ton. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!